of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we offer this holy sacrifice of the Eucharist for the eternal rest of Noreen Lenigan. And also today we pray for the sick in our parish community. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, eternal health of believers, hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help, so that, with their help restored, they may give you thanks in the midst of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, owe nothing to anyone except to love one another. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandment there may be, are summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no evil to the neighbor, hence, love is the fulfillment of the law. The word of the Lord. Be Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. He dawns through the darkness, a light for the upright. He is gracious and merciful and just. Well for the man who is gracious and lends who conducts his affairs with justice. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Amen. 
great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlooker should laugh at him and say, this one began to build, but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether, whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing upon him with 20,000 troops? But if not, while he's still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus is talking about the importance to give the first place to God in our lives. And he speak we spoke to a great crowd is to say a lot of people to follow him because it's the moment of his successful. He's a great master. He do many miracles. Many people follow Jesus just for that, for obtain miracles. Many people, crowds of people Follow Jesus because they know that Jesus can't do many things, restore many problems, especially physical problems. But they don't listen to Jesus. They don't are with Jesus for himself. They're just looking for their own interest. And Jesus said, if you don't renounce to everything, you are not be my disciple. The Lord is clear. And it's hard when he said in today's gospel that if anyone comes to me without hating his father and his mother and his brothers and sisters, it's so hard. What is talking about Jesus here? He's talking about, about the first place for God. If God is not in the first place, it's impossible to, lo to love our beloved ones. If God is not in the first place, we are not disciples of God. We are just people that come into him for interest. Today, we are here and we pray for a spiritual and physical healing. But I hope that our motivation is not just to obtain a miracle or relief of our illness. I hope we are here for be grateful with God because we receive many things from him. And we are here with faith. Yes, Jesus can to do a miracle in your life. Jesus has the power to destroy illness, sins, and death. But he needs that we are real, authentic disciples of him. Let us ask to the Lord today, Lord, help me to trust in you and to be your disciple. Help me to renounce everything is to say, help me to give you what you are worthy, the first place in my life. Let us ask to the Lord with humility, Lord, increase my faith in you. And after, present your specific petition. Present your illness, your cross, your difficulties.
But before, try to love him. Try to give him the first place. That is the order. If he is not in the first place, you just are here for interest, for the miracles, and not for the Lord of the miracles. Let us pray in silence. With a humble heart, we present our prayers before God. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they may be a light for the upright, gracious and merciful and just, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that national leaders may fulfill the law of love, which does no evil to the neighbor and thus paves the way to peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace to truly follow Jesus, gladly paying the cost of renouncing all our possessions in order to possess him as our one treasure, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the needs and intentions entrusted to our prayers, that the power of this holy sacrifice may touch and transform every distress and trouble, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead who feared the Lord and delighted in his commands, that this upright generation may be blessed with the rewards of heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray especially for the eternal rest of Noreen Lenigan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick and suffering, especially all those present this morning in this celebration that they receive healing hope and tender love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the end of the world, especially in Ukraine and in Holy Land, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for this Paris community, that we increase our faith in Jesus, our trust in him, in his powerful love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, you make the blind see, the deaf, the deaf hear, and the lame walk, pour out your healing goodness on all who believe in your name. We ask this with confidence in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Since the moments of our life unfold, O God, according to your good pleasure, receive the prayers and sacrificial offerings by which we implore your mercy for our brothers and sisters who are ill, that having, that having been anxious for them in their danger, we may rejoice at their recovery of health through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. And you stay with all this peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy. 
you should enter on the neighborhood. My own say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In my flesh, I am completing what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ on behalf of his body, which is the church. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. O oh God, only support of our human witness, show the power of your protection over your servants who are sick, that sustained, for, that sustained by your merciful help, they may be restored to your holy church in good health. Through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you we cry for banished children of Eve. To you we send up our sights, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Amen.